Hello students, welcome to our chemistry lesson. I'm Mr. Pascal Omosa. Today I want to teach the harbor process of ammonia. Ammonia is an important chemical because it is used in the manufacture of fertilizers, manufacture of nitric acid, uh, in, chemi in, in industries for treatment of water and also in the ma in, in, uh, manufacture of nylon. Uh, even in our laboratories we need this ammonia uh, for experiments. For us to, uh, for the process of making ammonia is called the harbor process. For us to make ammonia, we need raw materials, two gases, nitrogen gas and hydrogen gas. So I talk about the raw materials. The first one is nitrogen gas and then the second one is hydrogen, hydrogen gas. How do we obtain these gases? Nitrogen is obtained from a fractional distillation of liquid air, while hydrogen can be uh, obtained from cracking of long chain alkanes. Uh, very fast, let, us, let me go to the process. <coughs> the two gases, nitrogen, and hydrogen are fed are fed into a chamber called the purifier. In the purifier, what we do is we remove the impurities that may otherwise uh, poison the catalyst because a catalyst is used in this experiment, we look at it. Impurities removed include carbon 2 oxide, carbon 4 oxide, uh, moisture, and also the sulfur compounds. Sulfur compounds are many. Uh, those are the impurities removed at the purifier. The purified gas <coughs> is taken to another chamber and in this chamber uh, the two gases are compressed and the condition for compression is 200 atmospheres to 500 atmospheres. After compression, the, the compressed gases are passed through a heat exchanger. So this one is a heat exchanger. And at the heat exchanger, the temperature is maintained at 450 degrees Celsius. So the two gases, nitrogen and hydrogen, are taken to the, comp to the heat exchanger. And then the two hot gases that are already compressed are taken now to the reaction chamber, or I, I will call it the catalytic chamber. This is where ammonia is formed. And in the catalytic chamber, the reaction taking place is between nitrogen gas and hydrogen gas, which is a reversible reaction. It is catalyzed by, an, uh, by, uh, by 
a catalyst, finally divided iron, to form ammonia gas. Ammonia, uh, nitrogen and hydrogen react in a ratio of 1 to 3. 1 to 3, that means uh, 1 mole of nitrogen reacts with 3 moles of hydrogen to form ammonia. So if I balance this equation, we have, four, uh, we have 2 times 3 hydrogens, I will place a 2 here to balance this equation. The catalyst used here is finely divided ion catalyst. Finely divided ion catalyst is the, is the uh, catalyst used in this chamber. So here, ammonia is formed, but in gas, uh, it's a gas. But in this chamber, we also have unreacted nitrogen and hydrogen. That means uh, if they did not react, they will be uh, taken back. They will be recycled. So I will have an arrow going back to the heat exchanger. And I will have ammonia gas that was formed plus unreacted hydrogen gas and also I, ha I will have unreacted nitrogen gas. The mixture is taken back to the, to the heat exchanger and it is preheated. After uh, being preheated, ammonia gas is taken to another chamber, ammonia NH3 plus the unreacted nitrogen plus the unreacted uh, hydrogen gases to another chamber here. This chamber, I want to call it the condenser. In the condenser, we want to liquefy the ammonia formed so that we can, because it's a gas, we want to liquefy it so that we can collect it and, uh, and, and store it in containers. Uh, these three gases are cooled in this chamber. They are cooled, and if we look at the three, Ammonia has the highest boiling point, uh, so the BP of ammonia, recorded as negative 33 degrees Celsius, distills out. That means ammonia will be distilled, uh, distilled out fast at this temperature. Uh, that means that Ammonia is collected. Ammonia is, is collected here. The remaining hydrogen and nitrogen are taken back. Are taken back to the catalytic chamber. That means from here, I will have my nitrogen and hydrogen. So if they are taken back to this chamber, they will react again to form ammonia in this chamber. Uh, and if there is any other unreacted nitrogen and hydrogen, they will go back to the heat ex exchanger uh, where they will be preheated and then taken to the condenser. After here, after, be, after cooling, ammonia is collected as a liquid and stored. Uh, stored in containers and the process repeats itself. Thank you very much uh, for watching my videos and uh, let's meet next time.